This is Scott from Spank Odds. I'm going to show you how to do a clean install of, of Spank Odds. This is something you're going to want to do if you ever have a problem with the program or any kind of issues at all. The first thing you're going to want to do is open the control panel by typing control panel in the lower left corner. Up here in the in the corner it'll say a view by. You want to make sure that says large icons. You'll see an option that says programs and features. These programs are all the programs you have installed on your machine. You're going to want to look for the word Java. You might have multiple ones that say Java. You're going to need to do this to each and every one. First of all, highlight Java, right click on it and say uninstall. Go ahead and say yes. This is going to take two or three minutes. You're going to get a pop up down here on your main screen that you're going to have to go ahead and say yes to allow it to deinstall. Go ahead and do that. Since it's going to take two or three minutes, I'm going to put the video on pause. I'll be right back. The pop-up just showed up on the bottom and this is what it looks like. Go ahead and select yes. Then the program will go ahead and finish deinstalling and Java will be removed from your machine. This is probably something you're not going to want to do if you're having another program use Java, but this will definitely do a clean install for you on Spank Odds. Go, down, go ahead and go down and scroll down and look for the word Spank Odds. If you've had trouble with Spank Odds installing it, you may have more than one. You're going to want to left click on the first one, hit right click, and go ahead and hit uninstall. Go ahead and hit yes. It's going to have the same situation. You're going to get a icon down here that you have to click on to say yes to deinstall it. This will take a couple of minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put the video on pause again. I'll be right back. And the button did come down here. I had to click on to say yes for Spank Odds to finish deinstalling. Now if you look, there is no more Spank Odds, so we'll go ahead and close the control panel. We're going to want to open the control panel one more time. Let's open the control panel one more time. This time we're going to change it to category. We're going to go to system and security. We're going to go to the firewall. Then we're going to go down here and it says restore defaults. Click on that and we're going to go ahead and hit restore defaults. What this will do for you is if there's any program that you've had that's changed any of the settings or any kind of malware that is screwed with your firewall settings or you've cleaned malware off your machine and that has messed with your settings, that will put you back to default. What I want you to do now is go ahead and close that. I need you to reboot your machine. While you're rebooting your machine, it would be a good idea if you went ahead and rebooted your home router. That will clean out absolutely everything. Go ahead and shut your home router off for about 30 seconds and reboot your PC. When you bring it back up, what I'm going to need you to do is to use this link here to grab cut and paste it into the browser of your choice. Go ahead and select that. It'll start downloading immediately and then as soon as it gets done downloading then we will we will go ahead and install it. I'll pause the video while it downloads. Okay, Spank Odds has downloaded. I have it here on the desktop. I'll go ahead and double click on Spank Odds. All you do is hit next, you hit next, and you hit install. Now it's going to spend a couple of minutes and it's going to install the version of Java that it wants that's built in to Spank Odds. So that's why you don't need Java like we had before. It's going to take a couple of minutes to do this. While it's doing it, I'll go ahead and put the video on pause. Okay, there was a pop up here at the bottom that I had to select yes to to get Spank Odds to finish. Then all you have to do is hit the word finish and then you should have a new icon on your desktop called Spank Odds. Double click on that and it will it will start to download the program the latest and greatest program from the server. This is why you should always close Spank Odds every night when you go to bed and reopen it in the morning because the programmers are working almost every day of releasing a new, vid, uh, new version when they find bugs. But um, the best thing for you to do is to close it every night and go ahead and open it in the morning. I'll pause the video while it finishes downloading. 
Okay, spend cards is now loaded, ready for you to enter the username that you were given in the email and your password. You can go ahead and remember the password here. I'd highly recommend that. And then hit, go ahead and hit log in. Then you'll be able to set up all of the different sports books and all the different things that you want for spank odds. I would highly recommend you go to YouTube, do a search for Spanky. He has a channel there where you can see all of the videos and how to do all of the major functions in spank odds if you have any questions with spank odds or if you're having any problems that this video didn't help you with please let me know send me a message on twitter send me a dm at spank odds and good luck and thanks for using the product last piece to the video because i'm getting a lot of questions and uh, problems with spank odds what we need to do is we're getting people that are getting stale lines and that is being caused by their sleep setting. If you go down here in the bottom right corner where it says type here to search, and you just simply type the word sleep, at the very top it should say power and sleep settings. Go ahead and click that. Now if you have a laptop, you probably have something here called sleep, and it says on battery power, PC goes to sleep. Please, if you're running on a, a spank odds on this laptop, change that to never. For example, if you had it on 20 minutes and then you walked away from your computer for 30 minutes, the PC would go to sleep at the 20 minute mark and it would be asleep for 10 minutes. Those spank odds uh, updates are probably not going to catch up and your odds are gonna be stale. So if you're on a laptop and it says on battery power, make sure that that says never. If you're using a desktop, you should go down here and make sure that it says never. So no matter if you're using a desktop or last laptop, please make sure those are both never. This should make your uh, spank odds run much better. I appreciate you listening and thanks for supporting the product.